fantastic relationship. We were visiting ourselves at home. We had a relationship outside the office. It was as good as that. I had done that to him personally and to the committee before, and I do that to the entire Senate at this time. Maybe it was as a result of the lack of knowledge of the fact that this matter had long been resolved between us and the members of that committee. Subsequently, there were so many hearings, budget defense and all that we attended on a very convivial atmosphere. So I, the apologies without reservation at all. I, res I apologize. The only two things I just need to say before I go, because we are before the world, uh, one or two things. One is that regarding that program, because once Nigerians hear a figure, their ears go up. Hey, one big figure has been mentioned, no. Regarding that program, every single payment, and I insisted to the past president that it must come from the central bank directly to the accounts of the people who were nominated to receive those funds. And so we as ministers, both ministers in the ministry and the head of the agency at that time that we supervised, never saw one cobble. It was straight, all we needed to do was to generate the list and pass to the CBN. And the CBN paid directly from the CBN account to those individual accounts. Till today, as I see, we did not see nothing even came to the to account of that agency. And today, I make a promise that the entire register Everybody that received that amount per local government, their accounts, their account numbers, and BVN. We insisted on BVN. Every detail is at, available at the National Director of Employment. Anybody can go there and ask for a copy. We have it in the flash and confirm every single one with a BVN number. And they are all there for, it, for complete transparency. Till today, we did not see one cover of that. I needed to make that clarification. And like I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that misunderstanding. The one I think that uh, the Senate had is your apology. The one of whether you saw one error or not, the Senate did not hear that one. Because if you, the money went into somebody's account, there is no member of this Senate that will have a uh, the password to that account to view whether the money entered or not. And in any case, government is a continuum. This NSC has a right to go backwards, to look at what happened, to check the beneficiaries and other. It's only when we do our investigation and our oversight that we'll find out whether the entire 52 billion actually entered into the hands of those that were meant to enter. You were, as a minister, you were not expected to see one naira unless you were a beneficiary. Senator Akwashiki. Mr. Chairman, my very distinguished colleagues, I am Senator Akwashiki Bodia, representing the Sarano Senatorial District of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mr. Chairman, the nominee before us today Face to Kaimo SAN, that was nominated by His Excellency the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to serve as a minister in his cabinet, was also a minister in the last administration of uh, former President President Muhammadu Buhari. And uh, he happens to be a minister for state that supervises NDE and the arbitration panel under my own uh, committee, committee on labor employment and productivity. Just like he said, after three months of his nomination, there was a pandemic in Nigeria, COVID-19, and uh, there was a, some fund that was allocated to the ministry under his watch to question the effect of the COVID-19. And that happens to be the chairman then. We invited him here in the same hall, and have, I serve as the chairman of the combined committee, both the Senate and the House of Reps. And something came up. We tried to ask questions. We tried to ask questions to know what is happening, just like uh, Daliton have said it earlier before. Senator, sorry, Senator Daliton. The minority will have said it before now. We tried to know what really happened with the phone and what is going on. But here, he told us in the presence of the minister, the senior minister, Senator Ingegi, that uh, he is not. Uh, answer all to the Senate 
he was appointed by this. But at the end of the day, he left. And after like two months, I think he, he, he looked for both me and the chairman House of Reps. That uh, then we can submit the list of the National Assembly then. But when he came to work, a lot of senators then were very angry then because the thing has scattered. But today before this Senate, I can see he has apologized. Can I apologize? One house, one house, one house, one house, one house. Please, I'm protected by Mr. Chairman. I'm protected by Mr. Chairman, please. Yes. And uh, a lot of people were not angry, including myself then. I wasn't happy. But after that incident, just like he mentioned now, two appropriation, because what, the day he made a statement here, it looked as if he won't even appear before the National Assembly again. But after then, we invited the ministry to appear before us to defend their budget. He was there. And even the last budget, 2023 budget, that was defended by the ministry, he was also there, just like he said. Now that he's apologized before the National Assembly, including myself, because I also have uh, something, a question that I should ask. But now that he apologized, I want to appeal to the General House and the Senate under the leadership of Mr. Chairman, who the Senate President, that I am moving a motion for him to take the leave of the Senate and to, to not to go and not to sin again, again. Take a leave and go and don't repeat such again now that you have apologized before this horror house because this is the highest institution of lawmaking in, in Nigeria. And uh, our duty is to oversee the executive arm of government for checks and balances. Mr. Chairman, sir, take this as a motion before this horror house to consider. Thank you. I so move. The motion is a bit windy. Is there anybody who can put this straight? Because I would think that the nominee has apologized, and then, then somebody will move a motion to say whether we have accepted the apology or not, and then we move on. But uh, when you narrated the incident, and then you said now that he has apologized, that you want to move a motion, you haven't moved the motion. You said you want to move a motion. Uh, 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 the Chief Whip of the Senate, can you lead us? Uh, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, we are here for this purpose, which we all know. And we have Kiyamu before us. On resumption, he apologized. The next thing the Senate President would do is to put the question whether we have accepted the apology or not, and we move on. And from all indication, all of us have accepted the apology because we are human. This thing has passed, and as you rightly said, if there is anything related to that project that needs to be investigated, there is no foreclosure to it. So please put the question. The, the Senate President will not put the question when there is no motion. So I, I, I expect somebody okay. to move a motion. I'm that, 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 so that we decide whether we have accepted the apology or not. Yes, not that the Senate President should put a question when there is no, no, when there is no motion. Yeah, go, go, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. President and my distinguished colleagues. I'm Mohamed Alindume. I move the motion that this Senate do accept the apologies tendered by the nominee. I so move. Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you, Baronada. Mr. President, I stand here to second the motion as ably moved by the Senate Whip that the apologies of our brother, Festus Kayamon, be accepted. I so second. Distinguished colleagues, a motion has been moved and duly seconded that the apologies tendered to the Nigerian Senate in the past today and in the future by our brother over his conduct in the Ninth Senate be accepted. Those who are in support of this motion say aye. aye. Those who are against say nay. The ayes have it. The apologies are hereby accepted.
Yes, Distinguished Senator Jaribe. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I'm Senator Jaribe. I'm Jaribe. I represent the good people of Cross River North. I move a motion that the nominee, Fessius Kiamu San, takes a leave of the Senate. I so move. The same is Senator Sangodara Jr. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, sitting as the chair, my distinguished colleagues. I rise to second the motion as ably moved by Senator Jarigbe. I so second. Point of order. Point of order by the civil senator Neda. Order, order 10. Distinguished uh, pre uh, President Sitter's Chair, if I uh, have your indulgence, may I please read it? Order 10. Any senator may rise at any time to speak upon a matter of privilege suddenly arising, and he shall be prepared to move without notice a motion declaring that the contempt or breach of his privilege has been committed. Uh, Mr. President, this motion being moved is to cut all of us up from any question that we still have to ask the nominee. We will accept his apology. No, we still have questions. No, no, we still, can we not ask questions? You are cutting me off. You are cutting us off. You are cutting us off. Okay, Mr. President, may I? Uh, uh, point of order. Point of order noted. The Swiss colleagues, a motion is on the floor that, in view of the apology tendered by this former minister, who had earlier been cleared by this August assembly, that he be allowed to take leave of the Senate. Those who are in favor of this motion say aye. aye. Those who are against say nay. The ayes have it. It was recorded. And after a very interesting screening session, Mr. Fessus Kiamu takes a bow and makes his way out of the Senate chambers after attending an apology. It was quite a rowdy session earlier with a lot of the senators here raising concerns about his conduct as Minister of State for Labor and Employment in the last administration. And of course, he has apologized and the apology has been accepted and he's been asked to leave the Senate chamber. Mr. President, very distinguished senators, I move While we wait on that particular conversation to be had, uh, just so people can have an idea, uh, Mr. Fessus Keamo, the ministerial nominee from Delta State, is the 48th person to be screened by the Nigerian Senate, and that uh, 48 is the final number of ministerial nominees sent to the Senate by President Bola Tinubu, which means that every single name that has been sent to the Senate for screening has been done by the senators here and it's been going on for quite a while it's been a very interesting 
a few days uh, listening to the screening process. Uh, and so uh, we're moving now to the next phase. And of course, we will be hearing from the Senate president as well as uh, other senators here what that next phase will be. The conversations are going on right now. If you're just tuning in, uh, we have just seen the wrap up of the screening of ministerial nominees sent to the Senate by President Bola Tinubu. Uh, 48 names and all 48 of them have been screened right now with the screening of Mr. Festus Keamu, a 53-year-old uh, nominee from Delta State and of course uh, a former Minister of State for Labour and Employment and also uh, was a Minister of State in the Ministry of Niger Delta uh, alongside the Senate President right now, Senator Gosula Kwabio, uh, for just a few months. And we did see a lot of the drama going on uh, not too long ago before we went off uh, the screening process and back to regular programming. We did see a situation where the lawmakers here had issues uh, with the conduct of Mr. Fessus Kayamu in the last administration. And of course, uh, they had to go into an executive session to look into those issues before they came back right now. And of course, within that period of time, uh, we have heard that the Senate President uh, made his way to the villa and has left the villa and then came back into the Senate chambers, at which point uh, the screening continued. And of course, we saw that there uh, breaking right here on Channel Television. Mr. Festus Keamo apologizing to the senators for his conduct, calling it a total apology uh, and of course making some clarification about the payments uh, for the monies that were being questioned saying that every payment uh, went from the CBN to the individual accounts and of course uh, talking about how the register per local government area uh, is at the National Directorate of Employment so those are some of the things that we have seen uh, here today with the rounding up of the screening exercise uh, that has been on for quite a while right here at Senate Chambers in the National Assembly in Abuja. If you're just tuning in, you're listening to us live here on Channels Television. The ministerial screening of ministerial nominees has just finished. This last person to be screened has just walked out of the chambers and we're waiting on the Senate President to give us a breakdown of what the next phase of activities will be as the screening has ended. Most people will be looking at the confirmation bit of this exercise. Will that be coming up right now? Uh, will we have to wait a little bit more? We will have to wait and hear from the Senate President on what the actions to happen next will be. And while we wait on that, let's take a look back at the people who have been screened by the Senate. 48 names. The very first person we saw screened here uh, was the nominee from Edo State, Abubakar Momo in River State. We had Mr. Yeso Mike here as well screened. Professor Joseph Usev was screened here on the very first day as well. Senator Abubakar Kiari was also screened. Senator John Uwan Eno. Mr. Bello Mohammed from Sokoto State was always the sixth person to be screened. Abubakar Badaru from a governor of Jigawa State was screened here as well. Mr. Yusuf Tuga of Bauchi State. Abubakar Danladi Taraba State. Uju Ohanenye from Anambra State. Olubumi Ojo Ondo State. And Kiruka Onyejocha. Abia State, uh, Dr. Beta Edu, Cross River State. We saw that screening happening here as well. Uh, Iman Ibrahim, Nasrawa State, uh, was also screened by the Senate. Uh, Dave Umahi, the former governor of Ebony State. Adebayo Edu from Ogun State. Uh, we also saw that screening happening here uh, at the Senate chambers. Then we had Mr. Nasser Arufai, also screened by the Senate. Architect Ahmed Musa Angiwa. Mr. Uche Naji from Enugu State, Stella Okotete, Delta State, Adekola Adelabu, or your state, uh, Hanatu Musawa from Katsina State was also screened by the Senate, Dele Alake from Ekiti State. Uh, we also saw Mr. Mohamed Idris from Niger State, Latif Agbemi, uh, SAN also was screened by the Senate. All these ministerial nominees from President Bola Tinubu, Professor Ali Pate, Bauchi State, Dr. Doris Uzoka Anite from Imo State was the 28th person to be screened. And then of course we saw uh, the screening of Adegoega Oyetola, 
Ibrahim Gaydam, Yobe State, Sabi Abdullahi from Niger State, Senator Heineken Lukobri from Bayelsa State was also screened here. We watched the screening of Tunji Alausa, that was the 33rd person to be screened. Uh, Senator Alkali Ahmed Saidu from Gombe State, uh, former governor of Plateau State, Simon Lalong, Atiku Bagudu of Kebi State, Bello Matawale of Zamfara State, Dr. Yusuf Sununu, Kebi State, Zafania Jisalo, 39th person to be screened from right here in the FCT. We also saw the screen of Prince Shwaibu Abubakar Aldu of Kogi State. That was a very interesting screening exercise. Sijani Abdullahi Guarzo from Kano State. Uh, then, of course, uh, we saw the screening of Lola Ade John, the 64 year old banking tech expert. Uh, we saw that screening happen uh, here at the Senate. Uh, Dr. Bosun Tijani from Ogun State. Another interesting screening process that had a lot of headlines. Uh, widely acknowledged as a pioneer and industry leader in the African tech ecosystem. And we heard him also give an apology uh, for statements that he made on social media during his screening. And then we saw the screening of Isiak Salako from Ogun State, Tahir Maman at Damawa State, Uba Amadu from Taraba State. And then we had Dr. Maria Mahmoud Meiriga Bunkure from Kano. And then, of course, one of the most grueling screening sessions in this entire process, the screening of the 48th ministerial nominee from President Bola Tinubu, Mr. Festus Keyamo from Delta State. And that is the number 48. All of them have been screened by the Senate. And we're waiting on the Senate uh, president to let us know what the next moves are and those deliberations are going on right now and if you're just tuning in we have just witnessed the full screening of ministerial nominees sent to the senate by president Bola Tinubu. all 48 of them have been screened right now so far we've heard two apologies in the course of this process some rigorous drilling process got to meet a lot of people and see what it is that they brought to the table, what they will be bringing to the table if they are confirmed. And the Senate President has made it a point to clarify that point for a lot of people. The fact that you have been screened does not mean that you have been confirmed. So there is a confirmation process that has to go on. Uh, we have been hearing that maybe that confirmation process might happen behind closed doors and then the announcements will be made later, but we do not know that. We have to wait for the instruction on how that that is going to be done. But for now, 48 ministerial nominees screened. Quite a lot of conversations, quite a lot of intrigues. The horse trading has been going on for quite a bit. We've watched all of it right here live on channels television, seeing all of the intrigues of these people who are going to make up the cabinet of President Bola Tinubu. And we do understand uh, from the beginning, we have been talking about this, the fact that they do not have portfolios. So we do not know what ministries they will be put into. The questions may have been leading in particular directions, but we still do not know for sure. That will be something that we would have to hear from the presidency at the end of this process. But what we do know is that 48 people have been screened and those 48 people uh, will be watching to see which of them will be confirmed. Would all of them be confirmed? Will some people be dropped? That is a conversation that we're moving into next. The confirmation process uh, for these 48 ministerial nominees right here live on channels television the end of the screening process of the 48 ministerial nominees sent to the senate by president bola tinubu